and I was very influenced during the seminary days by a, a, a great Franciscan, John Thomas Loftus, who was a bit fantastic, uh, but he made his work hard in English, and then he taught psychology too, and uh, he had a few sayings, and one of them, it's fun to be Franciscan, and I really grew up believing that, and, and still, you know, to this day, think it's a great life, I think, of all the interesting places I've been, and things I've done, which wouldn't have happened to me if I weren't to Franciscan church. That I went to Africa in uh, 1967, and I landed in uh, Africa. It took it was a long journey. I went with Father Al Jacobi. He's dead now, Lord of Mercy. And uh, I landed there on the 11th of January, and I've been there. I, I have been on and off there ever since. And I. Uh, my work, as I say, was primarily as a teacher or a lecturer or trying to help the young student learn and also to become a, a, a friar. I become late, so I've become 200 railroad ties from the U.S. Potters Company to tinker toy, build a bridge across this canal. And Father Donald and I did the building of that just and they make sure that everything was laid so that there wouldn't be any cracking and we had to plank it out. So we were more carpenters than builders uh, for several weeks before we had the blessing of the church. So I began my life with the friars in June of 1959. I have to say that my experience in all of my days of the province since that day, though it's been up and down with the usual difficulties in life, most of all it has been singularly blessed. I, I simply cannot say enough about how grateful I am to Almighty God and to St. Francis of Assisi for calling me into this life.